Good afternoon. I'd like to come to you today on the 14th episode of the Street Lecture Series, um, Becoming the Prince Before the King. For my female viewers, be the princess before the queen, or whatever you view yourself as, you have to learn to be the peon before you become the master. And I'm here to talk to you today about how that can be a, not just a rewarding experience, but an educational experience and an honorable experience to live out your days on this uh, plane. Um, I was brought aware of this by doing this project here. You know, I had a vision for the landscape and doing some of the things, talking to some of the people, moving and shaking and ruffling the feathers and doing the deals that I felt were really going to improve the bottom line. Just because I think that it's a good idea doesn't necessarily mean that's a good idea. And if you look back at the movies, um, like the Ten Commandments, You'll see the pharaoh or the king, and he's surrounded by his advisors. And a lot of those advisors, it's no different than today, are like lobbyists. They're all buying for power. They all want what the king has, but they do offer services. They're advisors. But there's some time the point gets reached where you see the train going off the rails and your passion, you forget yourself. Don't forget yourself and don't. Don't forget your uh, position. I, I don't know if it was The Rock or in wrestling. I know your role and shut your mouth. A lot of people don't like that. It's very unpopular these days to be the prince. Everybody wants to be king. Everybody wants to, to roll on them, you know, to have the money. But you've got to be an apprentice first. It's like construction work. you got to start off bringing in the cables the extension cords, the drills, the tools, setting up the ship, bringing shingles up the ladder, you know. You gotta be broken in a while, then you become journeyman, and then you work your way up. And uh, that's just the natural progression of things that I've found. And don't quote me on this, I'm not rich. Um, but it's gotten me this far and I'm a lot better than a lot of other folks. And um, be a bold fighter. Be bold and fight for your king. If you're the prince, who do you think, when the shit hits the fan, I've seen people and they're conniving and they're waiting on the, their own family members. We're gonna take his jewels, his rings, we're gonna sell his Bibles, the ancient German Bibles, we're gonna auction the shit off. This is what we're gonna do with his shit. They weren't focused on the principalities, and that's where names, empire, shit falls. You know, it wasn't. It wasn't like the good old days, and that's where you got the good old king. And the good old king is going to find his conscripts, and you, as a prince or a runner-up, need to be like, hey, how can I be Mr. Licklick? You know, Mr. Bigglesworth. You know, how can I? clean up around here, you know, am I helping or am I hurting this operation, and if you find in your heart that you got a bad attitude, then maybe it's best to go somewhere else, because you're, the universe, you're just not a fit there, um, if you feel like a puppet, you know, buy my book, you know, you, I, 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 I teach about the puppets, the parable of puppets, you know, some puppets, they just dance better on strings, and, like oxen, I mean, some oxen, some huskies, you know, sled dogs run better in packs. I mean, they just run better that way. And they enjoy it. They have a great fucking life. They have a great time and they're champions. So in this short period of life, don't try to focus on tipping over every castle and pissing on every wall, but respecting the higher authorities 
taking what they've got and giving it, you know, to per perverse or pervert or pro propagate the uh, expansion of the species. But don't, like I said, prince before king. And don't forget about the little people on your way up. Take it easy.